My name's Jason and I'm the founder and director of Primo Surface Solutions. Primo are um, a specialist company providing invisible repairs to any hard surface. We also provide restoration and coating services uh, as well as exterior cleaning. So any surface, any damage, uh, we have a solution. <laughs> Um, yeah, we, we've been on a, a program recently called The Money Maker, uh, which was on Channel Four last Tuesday, uh, which is actually on sort of every Tuesday for the next three weeks, I believe, a different company each time. Uh, the TV show was all about um, an investor coming into the business, uh, seeing where there's further opportunity and helping the business in making certain decisions. Um, to sort of change and grow and make the most of it and then potentially invest at the end. Um, if you've watched the show, you'll already know. If you've not watched the show, go and watch it. Um, but the JFDI hashtag means just fucking do it. Um, so, I'll try not to digress as I tell this story. Um, but JFDI, um, it's all about motivation. Uh, it's all about getting on with it. Uh, and the reason it came about was um, I had a bad experience in business. Um, again, watch the TV programme and you'll, you'll hear a bit about it. Um, I lost a business. I was pushed out of the business by a family member um, and I ended up having to go and work at another company and try and sort of rebuild myself both uh, mentally, physically. You know, it was quite sort of painful, uh, mentally draining to go through that experience. Um, and. I was forced into bankruptcy on the back of it. And what happened then, as I say, went to a company um, to work with the company. And after two years, I got a letter through the post. Uh, my bankruptcy was up. So um, I started to post things on Twitter and social media. Should I go again? Um, and look, being a, 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 a sort of, I say, diehard entre entrepreneur, you know, it's, you, you're sort of born with, with a hunger to, to do well. Um, and yeah, my, my aim then was to, to try and bounce back. Uh, but in the midst of should I bounce back or should I not bounce back, putting this stuff out on Twitter, trying to motivate myself, um, I was actually contacted by a person called Scott Fletcher, uh, who is now Scott Fletcher MBE. So um, Scott was, um, well at the time, and he still does I believe, uh, owns a company called ANS Group in Manchester, uh, IT uh, company. And um, Scott, very sort of wealthy individual, took the time out to contact me and sort of said, look, JFDI, if you're going to do it, just fucking do it, you know, get on with it. And um, unsure who Scott was at the time, I uh, Googled him and he popped up and I recognised then that he was an award winning entrepreneur uh, and obviously, you know, knew at that point that he had a little bit of money. Um, so. Uh, I messaged him back quite bluntly really saying don't fancy mentoring me do you? Um, to which then I got an invite over to his office to come and have a chat with him. Uh, at the time I was at a company uh, as I say doing repairs, building a repair division for them um, and I was also doing supercar hire brokerage online. I had websites um, where I'd find leads for supercar hire companies and take a slice of the pie. Um, and we went and we discussed everything and, and you know I sort of told Scott the story and he was just like look um, you know go away have a think about what you want to do um, but I suggest you JFDI I just suggest you just fucking do it you stick to what you know and um, that's the the main thing that's gonna you know turn it around for you and, and rebuild that foundation that you need financially uh, and as an entrepreneur so that is where it came about um, of a random person at the time who um, just reached out and, and decided to motivate me. So further to having that sort of communication from Scott and that contact from Scott, uh, I got an invite to his office and we sat, we had various discussions about what I was doing at the, at the minute. And um, yeah, his, his advice was JFDI, just do exactly what you know, you know, just fucking do it. And from that conversation, Scott actually said, go away, do a plan to reach a million pound in a year uh, and come back to me and let's have a chat. 
Um, I had a bit of a gist at that point that there might be an opportunity for him to invest uh, without pushing on him too hard. I went away and uh, I did that plan, but unfortunately I couldn't reach a, a million pound in a year because at that point I'd never seen a business that did that. I, that was massive amount of money to me. And yeah, it, I came back and I think I managed to get a plan sort of, which I believed a realistic plan in my mind, and um, that was about 600,000 or something like that. Um, and yeah, I came back to Scott, we had that meeting, he seen it and he sort of said, you're not thinking big, big enough, again, JFDI. So I was like, right, and he just, you know, cut a long story short, we sat in the office and Scott turned around and he sort of said, right, I'll invest. And at that point, um, you know, very emotional time for me. I was like, wow, brilliant, like, can't thank you enough. Um, <clears throat> we agreed a sort of deal on the back of the investment, which is how Primo was born. And yeah, I sort of got up, uh, and this was my biggest lesson in business to date, really, and, and the most powerful one I've had. Um, I got up from that conversation, and I started to walk off, and Scott turns around to me and says, before you go, what do you do? And I was like, you've just given me, you know, a hell of a lot of money with a hell of a lot of zeros on it, um, and you don't know what to do. <coughs> and he said, you know, I quote, um, no, I'm not investing in the business, I'm investing in you. And that, I mean, you know, I, it, I could almost get emotional now thinking about it was my biggest, biggest lesson in business that, um, you know, he was invested, you invest in people, you know, and that and that's that's a big thing for me. And Scott invested in me, seeing I had the drive, seeing I had the energy, and yeah, he, he took a chance and I was able to um, build Primo from there. And you know, we've done very well, we've done really well, and that's how JFDI was born. And because of that huge statement um, Scott made and that huge lesson, uh, I've stuck with JFDI ever since, and everything is just JFDI is everywhere throughout Primo. Um, on the show, I seen part of the edit where Eric had a little sort of laugh at the JFDI house at the beginning, uh, at one point saying that might have to go. God, that might mean a rethink. Um, it'll never go, and it's as simple as that. JFDI is how Primo was born. Uh, JFDI will grow with Primo. Well, Primo will grow on the back of JFDI. Um, it's, it's just, look, <clears throat> some people would think it's gimmicky, uh, a lot of people would think like, oh, JFDI, blah, 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 bullshit. Like, to you, maybe. Like, what inspires you? You know, what, what you know, people inspire people. Um, actions inspire people. To me, JFDI inspires me because JFDI is, it's almost a culture. Um, you know, Scott within his business. Um, JFDI was everywhere. It was on the wall. His directors had it on the wall. One of his um, sort of business partners, you know, huge amount of wealth and they've got it at home in, in the in the garages, you know, surrounded by Ferraris and everything. JFDI is a culture. It's it's a frame of mind that you know anybody can have. Like you, you could you could you could you could have nothing and just adapt the JFDI, you know, right, I've not got a job. So what do I do? Let me think about getting a job. Let me think about what can I do. Let me think about where can I go to find a job. Fucking walk out your house, go to the nearest shop, ask if they got, like, just fucking do it. Don't, like, people just piss about thinking too much. And I think if you think, you risk talking yourself out of it. Um, and yeah, it's just a no bullshit, get the job done phrase. And it works, and it really does. So for me, JFDI is going nowhere, um, and, and it'll always be a part of us and part of me. So yeah, sorry, Eric. Um, JFDI is sort of throughout my life really, um, it's become a joke between friends, so you know we have a party, we have a drink, everyone starts throwing out JFDIs, um, but they're all, JFDI only can mean one thing and I think you know since the show we've had so many people contact us and me regarding JFDI, we've had the Daily Star write about it saying it could be the next you know, big hashtag before the program came on. Not sure how well it's gonna do, don't really care. I hope it does massive, but for me, it'll always be massive. Um, so it's just a phrase that just get on with it. You know, do I need to do, I need to do 
the patio. Just fucking do it. Like, stop pissing about. Do I need to go to the gym? Like, the, the amount, in fact, the gym is a big one because I used to have it on a pair of trainers, JFDI, believe it or not. Uh, on my gym trainers and you know I did quite well at the gym you know at one point uh, got in very good shape and again every day it was about the gym and to which point I then created JFDI clothing um, which was a just fucking do it gym brand which you'll probably see you know things flicking up now with it on um, it just use it anywhere do, do you know what I mean use it anywhere if you need a, a bit of a I had somebody contact me the other day a really senior guy who was a director at a really big construction firm that unfortunately uh, and a billion pound construction firm that unfortunately went under a couple of years ago um, but really really clever guy and I got a message um, I think it was yesterday uh, and he was just saying look Jason watch the show uh, the JFDI was was just awesome and, and there was something I needed to to get done that I've kind of been putting off uh, and you know it's given me the ins inspiration to get on with it again so JFDI is inspiring people already it's inspiring people from young people to older generation and um, people who are high up in business people who are smashing the business people who are just starting out in business it's it's used in every part of life and, and I highly recommend it if you don't get on it um, so as you would have seen in channel four, on Channel 4's The Money Maker, if you've seen it, um, we have JFDI on the wall as you come up the stairs. Uh, it's not actually found its way back there now because we've had a full refurbishment since the show, but it will be coming back. I promise it's coming back. Um, it will be coming back because for me, it's, um, it's a reminder of where we've come from. It's a reminder of... Um, not giving up. It's a reminder that there is people out there who are good people, who believe in people, who help people. Um, JFDI is a very, very significant and positive part of my life. Uh, I've got nothing but happy memories on the back of JFDI. So for me, um, I'll put it in the office. Um, the, the office itself is called JFDI House now, that's registered. Um, it's everywhere. I've had it on trainers, I have it on my shirts. Um, Wherever I can put JFDI to remind me every day to just fucking do it. Don't mess about with bullshit. Don't fart around doing little bits and bobs and, you know, manage your time properly. Just fucking do it. There's, there's, there's a job to be done. Get out there, sell the business and grow the business and give people opportunity as I was given an opportunity. So um, I, I try and put it everywhere I can to remind myself of it every single day. Um, you know, it's come from Scott who was my initial investor and my business mentor and now very good friend um, and JFDI has just it, it, it's come into this business it's immersed itself in the business um, and it's helped it grow already so so the growth that we will continue doing is all because I, I sort of adopt the JFDI mindset um, I try and you know you, you become the people you surround yourself by so I try and make sure I, I, I get that around the team um, and yeah, everybody sort of adapts it in their own way. Of, of course, nobody's going to be, you know, I'd be jumping on tables shouting JFDI if I could, but I, everybody's not the same and that's okay. Uh, but I do push the JFDI attitude, which is let's not piss about. If somebody needs to have a phone call, let's give them a phone call. If somebody needs to have an email, give them an email. If we need to go out marketing, just get out marketing, like just fucking do it. Like, so it's... It's, it's just one of those things where it'll always be with us and now we're going to grow. It's because of that attitude and the team together with that JFDI attitude, just getting it done, just fucking do it, that we'll continue to hopefully um, have great success. Woo! So Channel 4's The Money Maker has probably been uh, the biggest media uh, we have done, uh, but it's not been the first. We've done quite a lot of media stuff and that ranges from things like we've won awards, um, we've won Manchester Evening News Business of the Year awards, entrepreneurial awards, uh, we've received myself and the other director Stephen Court, um, a guy who had carried out a robbery um, and we got a bravery award and that was in the paper, uh, we've helped charities, we've done, um, we've abseiled down Manchester City Tower, um, supported by Bruntwood uh, for charity, we've, we've done all sorts. Um, and yeah, the, the media um, 
is, is a great sort of reminder of our journey and we keep everything, you know, everything that goes in the media, we keep it because I think it's really important that you can look back and see how far you've come uh, and also look back and be inspired by yourself and your own journey. I think that's really important. Um, so yeah, we've, we've, we've been in the media loads, we've won various awards, I think we've got nine in total, um, but this TV uh, appearance has been, for me, um, one of the best experiences uh, for many reasons. There's been ups, there's been downs, uh, but what, what an experience to be able to say that we've been on primetime TV for an hour with the brand, uh, which is Primo, and we've been able to get our story out there, and it's, it's been a really positive one, and we've had amazing feedback, so I thank everybody uh, who's contacted us, who watched, uh, and continue to watch you know, the other programmes that are coming as well with the other businesses, because I'm sure they're amazing as well. So further to the show, really the, the sort of feedback we've had has been absolutely amazing. Like, I was, you know, worried uh, about putting my story out there to, to a point. Um, but again, you know, I just thought, just fucking do it. Let's get it out there. Um, and if I'm honest and I just say the truth, like, it is what it is. And, and you know, further to that show, the feedback's been amazing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I feel blessed that... Um, you know, people have been so supportive, saying how much I sort of inspired them and my story and everything like that. So it's been, it's been worth it just to get that. Um, well, just to get people inspired. We've had a lot of work um, sort of come through. We've had big contractors. We've got meetings coming up with major contractors who have seen it, and even the contractors have commented on the JFDI. Uh, they love the ethos. They, they love the no bullshit attitude of getting the job done and delivering. And yeah, it's it's funny because you know you watch that first edit, and Eric says, "Oh, maybe that needs to go." And now further to that, every post about the show, and even Eric's posts, we see you, Eric, is hashtag JFDI. So I think what started off as a as a gimmick for some people, they've bought into it, and and I think that's that's actually true. You know, when, when Eric filmed that at the beginning of the of the show, he probably saw that as a gimmick. But as he saw the power of JFDI materialise within the business and how we work, and I think that came across in the programme as well, um, I think he now believes in it. And I think, you know, he's going to be using that, I'm telling you. And he's probably using it now, secretly. But yeah, I think he came round to it and we've proved um, that JFDI isn't a gimmick. It's a, it's a frame of mind, it's a positive one, and I think everybody should adapt to it. So yeah, so that's JFDI in full, where it came from, where it is now, how we're going to use it, uh, yeah, that's JFDI. Okay, so that was the video on JFDI and the story behind it. You need to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Instagram, make sure you're following all the, all the social platforms because we're going to be doing videos on mental health and mental health awareness. We're going to be doing videos on our services, the office tour, uh, more about the technicians, update you with the trainees. There's loads of stuff to come. So get on the YouTube channel, Primo Group, subscribe and make sure you follow all our socials. JFDI, just fucking do it.